Uh, we discussed waves on infinite strings. We discussed the energy. Uh, so, we discussed the energy current on a string. Then we discussed what happens at a discontinuity. Then we even solved this fancy problem. And uh, then we added a wall. We have seen that this thing comes and then flips and goes back. Now we shall consider as the fifth item in the list, finite strings. Finite strings. Of course, this is the basic uh, physics of uh, string instruments. Highly simplified. Okay. So here we have a string stretching from 0 to L. And uh, of course, any disturbance uh, satisfies the, if this is the x-axis and y is the transverse displacement, uh, it satisfies uh, this equation where and y is a function of x and t, the transverse displacement of the string at time t at the position x. And u0, we found, is tension divided by the mass density. Now, uh, we shall consider the normal modes on a, such a string, normal modes, normal modes. So what is a normal mode of oscillation? Let's define it first. It is a certain shape in space. Well, since our object is, a, uh, is this finite string, it is the a certain shape of this uh, string. So let me write it down because it's a very important concept. A certain shape in space. All of which oscillates with the same frequency. Namely, no matter how complicated the shape is in space, the all of it uh, oscillates with the same uh, frequency. So the normal mode problem is then uh, consists of finding this shape and the frequency associated with this shape. Okay, uh, so since there, uh, there is a single frequency, we search for such uh, solutions. Uh, psi of x, cosine omega t. So there is a certain shape in space, psi of x. This itself does not depend on time, a certain shape. And the, it is oscillating with the frequency uh, f is omega over 2 pi, with the angular frequency omega or uh, frequency f. So this we uh, insert in here, cosine omega t taken the derivative twice gives me minus omega square. So I have cosine omega t. So the equation satisfied by uh, psi and partial derivative of uh, psi with respect to x is uh, just the uh, direct total uh, derivative. So it is psi plus k square psi is equal to zero, where k square is <coughs> omega square over u0 square. This u0 is the speed of the disturbance along the string. I'm erasing all this. We have such limited blackboard space. 
So this is the equation we will solve. This is a second order differential equation and it has uh, uh, simple solutions like a sine kx plus b cosine kx. Both sine and cosine are solutions uh, to this equation, which is the Hamholtz equation in one dimension. All right. Now, to satisfy the uh, boundary conditions, psi 0 must be 0. So, a times 0 plus b times 1. So, b is equal to 0. All right. Then I have b is gone. I only have a times sine kx. And psi of L, because uh, it is tied down, psi of L is equal to 0. That means uh, sine KL is equal to 0. That means uh, since L is a given uh, length, this K cannot be arbitrary. It is constrained. Notice that K is related to the frequency. So not all frequencies... Uh, are possible for normal modes. Only certain frequencies are possible. And we will now look for the shapes and the frequencies of these normal modes. Sine KL equals zero means uh, KL must be KL is equal to N pi. Now, uh, I can put a uh, subscript on k, k n l is equal to n pi. This is 2 pi over lambda n. We did this before, that k is wave number, it's related to, and this is times l is equal to n pi, pi is cancelled. So I can write this equation in this form, n times lambda n over 2. That's equal to f. So, uh, and n goes from 1 to, to all uh, positive integers. So, we are through with the mathematics. Uh, let's look at the uh, shapes of these normal modes. The first one. Lambda 1 over 2 is equal to L. Lambda is, uh, this is a, a one uh, wavelength. So half of it will be equal to L. So let me draw it here. If this is the L. This. Therefore this is N equals 1. Then 2 lambda 2 over 2 is equal to L. That means this is L, I divide by 2, and I have, if you call it bubble, I have two bubbles. So one up, the other one is down. So this is the n equals 2. That's the way it goes. And the 3 over 2 is equal to L. So we divide it into 3. So I have three bubbles. n equals 3, so it goes. And they have uh, names. The first one is called fundamental. Fundamental. Or the first harmonic. The second one is called the second harmonic. Third, etc. So uh, the key equation is this, n lambda n over 2 is equal to L. So without, uh, namely n, uh, you just fit for the end uh, normal mode, n bubbles. That's it. That's the shape. That's the shape, psi of x. Namely, psi n of x, because 
this is the shape of the for n equals 1, for n equals 2, for n equals 3, etc. It goes. Okay, so let us consider the frequencies. <clears throat> Lambda n times fn must be equal to u0. So fn is equal to u0 over lambda n. And lambda n is 2L over n. u0, 2L over n. Or n times u0 over 2L. For n equals 1, this is f1. So this is n times f1. So when fn is equal to, uh, when the nth harmonic frequency is related to the uh, fundamental in this fashion, it's called the harmonic series. So uh, this is the, uh, these are the normal modes of a finite string uh, bound from 0 to f. So this is the frequency, and the fundamental frequency is u0 over 2f. Now let me erase some things here. I can erase all this. Now the point is, uh, suppose you are, you are given a string like this. There is no way you can play it in this form or, uh, well, or in this form, you know, perfect uh, sinusoidal. Uh, what happens is that, a guitar, uh, take guitar for example, a guitarist plucks the uh, string and plays. So since uh, the initial displacement you give, for example, you may pull it with your finger and then let go. So this doesn't look like any of these uh, modes. So what happens is that uh, a general solution is written as some uh, sine kn x times, I will take even complex, a n e to the minus i omega n t. A n is some magnitude times the phase. <clears throat> so, uh, even though you play the same uh, string, for example, uh, let me uh, consider these uh, complex uh, coefficients as a vector a1, a2, etc. So, for example, even if you uh, two guitarists play the same string, uh, the timbre, the, what you hear uh, will be different. The taste of sound uh, will be different. That's because the way they uh, pluck the uh, string, whether it's like this, or like that, or like that, each one has an uh, A of player, namely the different uh, coefficients. These are fixed. These are the uh, normal mode shapes, they are, which are these. They are fixed. So what you are changing in playing the guitar is basically the amount of admixture, how much of which mode you are taking in and with what phase and with what uh, magnitude, the uh, magnitude of AN. Okay, uh, now at the end of this uh, discussion, you will see three videos uh, prepared by Ur Güney. It is the exact solution of the wave equation, numerical. In, in one case, 
the uh, string is plucked from the center and uh, one third away, so one half, one third, and one fourth. So you can see how they are os oscillating. Thank you.